Hi Gemini, how are you guys? I'm the Spiritual Barbie. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new, okay? You guys, this is your current status of your Love Life Tower reading, everybody. So let's have a look at what is um, the current status of your Love Life. At this time. for this week in particular. Okay. Gemini, you guys are reaping abundance from your person in your love connection. And you're going to receive love from many sources, both expected and unexpected, but many unexpected sources. Okay. All right, so you guys were working on, you know, your possibilities. You were working on what, what you had in front of you, you being consistent. Everything was working out in your love life. You guys were putting in daily effort and just showing up consistently, you know, over and over and over again. I feel like you guys have some sort of routine in your love life. And it brings you lots of possibilities. It was bringing you lots of possibilities, or you just received more possibilities um, since the recent past, emotional possibilities, joy as well, um, optimism, okay? And I feel like you were still beating yourself down about this. You were still being hard on yourself, being really negative. You know, you were definitely dealing with negativity, Gemini, when it comes to this, or just not really fully believing, you know, telling yourself maybe not the most positive things or just being exposed to very negative sources of the you know information so you know kind of cutting course you know communication or just none thereof okay so right now you guys are ending a cycle a tough cycle it's definitely a mental cycle getting mental peace from mental exhaustion in love and from betrayal from you know that's the after effects of betrayal you know that's the fact that's that's the app that's the effects of betrayal you know that devastation you know that's what you're feeling right now you know and that betrayal also came about because you know there was some sort of addiction or codependency you guys had you were holding on to in your life so you concluded that cycle you, it, it just came to an end right now you're just dealing with having an ending in your love life it's, it is, you know, it's brutal. It's definitely mentally exhausting. It might not be brutal in, you know, in some ways that it is for other people, but it's definitely exhausting. And now you guys want to follow your heart, and you guys got somebody in your life who wants to follow their heart with you, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, man or woman. This person will safeguard your love. They will protect your emotions from negativity. They will not be down on you and be a narcissist. They, they will uplift you. This person is already doing that right now. They, if you don't already know this person already, you know, then this person, you know, when they come in, that's what they're going to do. This is who you're dealing with. And this is after a time of, of devastation. It's after a time of ne negativity. But, you know, you're kind of mentally still stuck, a little bit beaten down, Gemini. So, you know, what's coming, and that's why what's coming is there's a fire sign woman, an Aries Leo Sagittarius woman who is very positive and bright, optimistic, funny, caring, compassionate, jovial, funny, did I say that? She's brilliant, talented, loyal, and friendly, okay? She is coming around you in the near future. You guys will also, you know, strengthen your faith and belief in yourself. You guys will feel more positive about love, and, you know, your person who you're connecting with, they will make you feel more positive about being with them, more attractive, desirable, like, you know, they're going to be, like, making you feel hot, hot, hot. Okay, you guys have a lot of options in love as well. You guys have movement coming in as well. Changes, delays being removed, a block coming out, or just even a new event taking place in your love life that just gets the ball rolling. But very good fortune. Good fortune, turn of events, fortunate events. And I also see you guys making changes. <laughs> um, you know, I see you guys making changes, Gemini, in your life as well. Um, I see everything getting back on track, 
and I also see you guys, um, you know, doing more stuff together with your person, spending, more, you know, spending more time in the day to day together, letting each other more into, you know, what you do, you know, I feel like you guys are, you know, spending time with one another very closely and doing kind of things that they might not be romantic. It might even just be like house oriented or chores, tasks, you know, um, errands even, but they just feel amazing and it just, it's, you're going to just, you know, this is possibly even the things that in the past you would take for granted if you ever used to, but now you're realizing that you can't take for granted. So you're going to get more of these experiences with your person. And there's a block here going out of the way. A new car is coming as well. So that's pretty exciting. Okay, you guys are dealing with somebody who's a wild card. Okay, I, I, I started taking these cards out, but they've gone back in. <laughs> so you're gonna be dealing with somebody who you cannot understand. They're just gonna be whoever you know you want them to be. Okay, I feel like this person is you know not showing up in any particular way. Take time and rest and rejuvenate. Take time to you know cool your mind down and to take a look at all the beautiful things you have around you and how many people, how many things around you that are filled with love, how many people around you really love you and how many um, opportunities there are for love in your life every single day. Just taking some time out to rest, relax, rejuvenate, clear your head, meditate even will really help you this week in your love life. Okay, so your current energy is the Ace of Swords, okay, and then the recent past, the Tower, distant past energy is the King of Wands, the challenge for you and your focus is the transformation, and you know, this energy here is, um, this energy here is, I'm going to look into that later on in the reading. So Gemini, you guys have a major new beginning in truth at your hands. You got communication from your person. Somebody, you gave them communication. You know, you, you made them an offer. You gave them an idea to do something fun. You know, even but this is leading to a larger thing. This is leading to a whole new cycle. But this is, you know, a cycle that starts off in the form of a victory. So you got a victory in love in the form of truth, okay? Now you got the truth that possibly someone was carrying burdens. You were this person, they were carrying burdens, you were carrying burdens, and that's the reason why certain things were not really working out. I also feel like you guys, you know, ended a cycle as well that needed to end through receiving this truth. You also got some communication as well. Oh my gosh. So you got this new beginning in truth, Gemini, because you invested in this, you were waiting for this. You guys have been, you know, really heavily invested into something in your love life, someone, and you've been having patience and trying not to worry. And so this new beginning in truth is helping you to sever ties with something that might have been causing you to worry or just, you know, making your experience in love unpleasant at the very least. Um, in the recent past, you guys had a transformation take place in the form of an ending, in the form of an event, some sort of event happened. Now, the reason why this happened was so that you could step into your power. It was also so that you could see how amazing you are, how brilliant, loyal, talented, and friendly you were. I also feel like it was due to somebody else as well. There might have been somebody else in your life that they came into your life and they really changed the way your life really was going, okay? 
I feel like you guys, you needed to be more confident in yourself in order to keep on going in love. So you had an experience that brought you to this point. So this experience, it was, a, um, you know, possibly a, an ex deep, a profound expression of love, a deep expression of love, uh, deep connecting or reconnecting to the emotions that you feel for your person or you feel for love in general or you feel about life in general. You guys had an amazing experience. Um, I feel like there was a fire sign woman. She was working or possibly doing something for you, multitasking. And you had a realization even about a water sign woman. If you're dealing with this woman, you had a realization about her. And now you already know what needs to go. Now you know what needs to be done with. Now you know what was causing a burden, you know, at, at, if there was a burden at all. And you know what needs, what's ending, what's done now, okay? You know what you definitely want to put an end to. But I don't feel like you... I feel like this is something you wanted to put an end to, but you didn't know how to. And now you, 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 now you probably know how to, Gemini. So you know your focus is on a transformation that's happening and ending, okay, in your love life. And your focus is on this because it's kind. Of, you have to trust in the unknown for this transformation to take place. It's also happening behind the scenes. You know, so it's in some way it's seemingly outside of your control. I also feel like you kind of feel a strong pull towards something else. You kind of feel like it's time. So you're focused on an ending, okay? That's leading to a new beginning. And this ending, it's a it's a happy ending. It's an ending in family, perhaps expanding the family, having grandchildren, children, um, retiring, you know, raising children wisely. Possibly some of you guys are shedding things that might make you feel like you're not raising your children wisely or... That you haven't done so you guys are just shedding things that block you from being happy in your life and that's what's ending that's what the focus is on and it's because this is what you feel guided to do this is what you feel like needs to happen so you might have recently put something to bed and you also received some happy news and you know this is life-changing for you because you know this is something that you really don't know how it happened but it happened you're not even sure how this, you know, how you even pulled it off, like possibly even the steps you took, you don't even know how you did it, but you did it, okay? Your trust and faith in the unknown is returning. If it was gone, it's returning. You're understanding the truth of the situation. If you, something ended in your life, you're understanding the truth of it right now. So, you know, you're going through something right now. You're having something happen, and it's an ending. <clears throat> so in the distant past, you were dealing with a fire sign man, or you are a fire sign man, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius man. You know, this person or you are theatrical, innovative, wise, and, and, and um, inspiring. Um, I really feel like you guys stepped into this energy in yourself and embraced this. You might have even received a financial windfall. A lot of you guys have like already received that in the distant past, okay? And you guys stepped into the leadership role in the distant past. You realized that your skills were needed back then, or you acquired those skills and they're needed right now to release this burden, or both. You know, everybody's lives are kind of just happening, right? But you got a very positive message. You had a very positive experience in the distant past where you stepped into your power and you saw your worth, you saw your capabilities, and you took, um, you know, reign over terrain and, you know, have decided to craft your life the way you want it to be. And also being optimistic about stuff no matter what, okay? So, you know, could you got into your comfort zone? And it's because you guys, it's like you wouldn't have life any other way. You would you definitely wouldn't have love and or this love connection any other way. This is the way you want it. So you just need to be optimistic. Okay? That's why you embodied this optimistic energy. I also feel like if this is a fire sign man. This man brings you a lot of passion, and this is he makes you feel very comfortable, secure, safe in yourself. A lot of you guys who started stepping back into this energy in yourself is because you stepped back into your comfort zone, okay? I also feel like you guys, you know, you had interest in sex, desire, travel, fun, fun. You guys started embracing fun in the distant past. It's because you just, you received a material harvest, you have, you have comfort. You have a lot of things going for you. Um, you know, this is just what is in your comfort zone. You're not going out of your comfort zone anymore. You stopped doing that in the distant past. Or perhaps this man here, he came in so that you could come out of being outside of your comfort zone. If this man brought you 
some sort of comfort in your life. It's so that you could be relaxed. Okay? So in your mind, okay, from now to next time we speak, Gemini, is your intuition. It's very strong. It's extremely heightened from now to the next time we speak. And it's guiding you through things. It's telling you certain things about situations that you might want to keep to yourself. Your intuition is telling you about something that makes you feel shut out. Perhaps an experience, perhaps somebody who is shutting you out, somebody who's abusing you, somebody who broke up with you, somebody who abandoned you, is telling you stuff about this person. Possibly that this person is paranoid, racist. They've, done, they've dealt with a lot of animosity and negativity. They've also dealt with their own fair share of battle and paranoia, other people doing the same thing to them, okay? And you're trusting your intuition about this and releasing pain and feeling fragmented because of this experience. Your intuition is telling you about somebody who abandoned you even, that makes you paranoid, and it's because you're getting a new beginning in love, self-love, love for life, love period. You're also having a new offer and love come into your life, okay? And so you need to trust your intuition in order to protect yourself, in order to hold on to a good person, hold on to a good one is what I'm hearing, right? So you don't, so you can hold on to a good one because you have somebody coming in who doesn't want to let you go, um, that they're very much divine and you feel a very strong spiritual connection with them right away. But perhaps, you know, people in the past, somebody else in the past, perhaps even friendships, that things ended, you might be feeling like it's going to happen again. You know, even in an existing love connection where there is a new beginning in love coming in, absolutely. Um, you might feel like it's going to happen again. You need to just trust your intuition and know that those things that happened before, it was so that you could face your abandonment wounds and face your paranoia, okay? And, you know, realize that because you dealt with so much abandonment and pain, you, like, are super guarded and, like, not trusting, you know? Because you got a new offer of love that you can trust. You were safe even when you were going through devastation. You know, you look back now, it was devastation, but when you was going through it, it might not have really been that way, okay? So even back then, you had protection. So you could just relax, trust your intuition, and understand that, you know, when you're feeling like you're shutting yourself out and you're just paranoid, trust that that's what it is, okay? Don't doubt that, okay? You guys are also working on having trust and faith. Well, mainly trust and, like, deep intimacy, but trust in the, in the form of, I trust this person fully, or you trust your person fully, you know, you trust what they say, you, you, you trust your intuition as well about this person, you're getting to that place in your love connection, that's going to be on your mind, is even how far you've come, and it's because you've dealt with so many abandonment wounds, you know, in the form of people, situations, lack of money, lack of health, whatever, you name it, to get to this place, that was the point of it, and it's so you could understand that that's what was causing you even to feel alone, and even paranoid, okay? So whatever your intuition is telling you from now to next time we speak, trust it because you're getting a new beginning in love and also protection. And it's also love in the form of protection, love in the form of a divine masculine, love in the form of a husband, boyfriend, stepping up, being more there in your life, connecting with you more on a soul level. Okay, so not just physically, not just talking, not just sexually, not just even romantically, but on a soul level and in every, in every single way as well. Okay? So because it's on that soul level, it like transcends up or down, however you want to look at it. So Gemini, this is your current status of your love life tower reading from now till next time we speak. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and I can't wait to talk to you guys again very soon. Bye bye gems. Hope you guys enjoy this beautiful holiday season. I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye bye.